Hello and welcome back to another video. Now I want to apologize in advance for the nature of this video. Um, it's going to be unedited because YouTube has removed their online editing software, which I used to use to edit my videos. So now all I have is my smartphone, which I can uh, directly upload videos from. So it's not going to be edited. It's completely raw. Welcome to my living room. <laughs> Today I'm here to talk about 10 ways to reduce your waste. Um, zero waste is becoming a really massive thing in Australia and overseas at the moment. And in Australia, it's a lot to do with the recent documentary on the ABC, The War on Waste. Um, do look it up if you haven't seen it, if you're in Australia, it should still be on iview. Uh, it's called The War on Waste. And it's just about recycling uh, our current consumer habits and how we're very, very wasteful with things like fast fashion, um, with our food waste and um, plastic and, you know, recycling and all that stuff. So check it out. But uh, here are 10 ways that you can reduce your waste, stuff that we've been doing at home. Little Lily's about four months now, so she's doing well. Say hi. Hi. She's not going to smile for you. She was smiling at me. But anyway, um, yeah, so here are the 10 ways to reduce your waste. Number one is definitely get a keep cup. So if you're a normal, see, look, I'm doing ASMR again. I always end up doing this. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're like any other youngish sort of professional um, Australian, Usually, we all enjoy our coffee, or pretty much most of us, anyway. Um, so if you are going to buy a takeaway coffee, be aware that your takeaway coffee cup is generally not recyclable. Even though there are some cups that have, you know, eco-friendly type packaging, it's not every single one. So you're better off just getting your own cup. Um, they're not that expensive. This is a plastic one and I'm looking to upgrade to a glass one, which is more e ecologically friendly. Um, but you just take this, they have the measurement on the inside and nowadays most baristas know that, you know, that's fine. And generally they'll give you 50 cents to a dollar off your cup of coffee as well. Um, and following on from that, number two would be to take your own container. So you do get a few weird looks and it takes a little while to get used to, but I think more and more people are going to begin doing this. Um, so yeah, you can take your own container anytime there's a food van or um, if you're buying from a deli, something like that. And again, they'll often give you a discount and that just saves on the packaging. Okay, number three would be bulk buying and produce bags. So this is a Anya produce bag, came in a pack of eight, only cost like less than $20. And uh, today I went and got some coffee beans. So anytime you're buying nuts or sultanas or pasta or something like that, a lot of uh, supermarkets these days have bulk bins that you can fill up your own bags. So this is made from recycled plastic uh, bottles as well. So very eco-friendly, take it home, put it in a big jar in your cupboard. Um, I've lost count of the numbers, but the next one is green bags, obviously. I think everyone's doing that nowadays anyway. Um, cloth wipes for cleaning. So when you're spraying wiping, don't use um, paper towel. This is very wasteful. All you need is like a flannel cloth like this, very cheap. Um, for spray and wipe, chuck it in the wash, it's all good. Likewise, when you're cleaning uh, baby's nappies, just wet it down, wipe it, put it in the wash. You can soak it or put it in hot water, whatever. Um, some people even use their own for toilet paper. And I have one minute left of battery, so I'm going to really be quick. Um, the other thing is hankies. I went to the op shop and got a whole bunch of old, you know, used and perfectly fine hankies. I put them with the tissues in our house so that when I go to blow my nose and I don't have a cold or anything, I just grab a hanky, goes in the wash, easy done. Uh, saves on tissues. Buy secondhand clothes from the op shop. It's definitely less wasteful than fast fashion and you can find some really cool things as well. Um, and also check out local Facebook groups for um, buy, swap, sell baby stuff and adult stuff as well. Um, and composting is a big one. 
start a compost heap if you've got the space. And the last thing is to go vegan. It is definitely the best lifestyle choice ever. Um, and check out all of my videos on going vegan and um, it is the most sustainable thing you can do for your carbon footprint. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>